So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for 801, Banshee, Zer, and then Eververse in that order. I also do apologize that I didn't have the video for the beginning of the week. But again, I... Oh, actually, I don't think I've told you guys. I've gone full-time in my job, so I just... And a lot, I'm, a, I'm a lot more tired than I usually am. And also, honestly, it just kind of crept up on me the end of the week. So I do apologize, but you, I will always do the final call videos because Sundays I don't work. And I am recording this on Sunday and should be posting this on Sunday. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video. So it's going to be in the old set that I made for this exotic which is a severance enclosure i've been using this exotic a lot more and i really would like to thank the people who commented on that video because they gave me some really cool advice for this exotic and i've been having a lot of fun with it for this one dark age helm and dark age gauntlets for the chest piece obviously severance enclosure and then the braytech snow boots with the Tekken regalia uh mark combination is super super cool shadering is going to be horizons beyond or horizons beyond i just really like the shader i like the muted tones to it and thinks i think it looks really good with this set i would only switch out the helmet honestly the helmet's like the only thing that i keep switching out because as much as i like this helmet i sometimes don't like how it looks with it so it's like this one as well this looks a lot better with females because the if the helmet was a little bit bulkier i think this would have been better but it's because like the i'm using the male titan right now so that's why it looks more bulky than usual but yeah the I probably would switch out to this one maybe even though you know I did this one as well I do like this one a lot it's just the fact that there's just one single glow that kind of bugs me but yeah let me know what you guys think about this set so as for Ada we're gonna be looking at cinder char which actually looks really really cool with this set gives it that very much like 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 i've used this armor before and it's not like oh i just used like it's new i love when shaders have this like used coloration because obviously your guardian would not have new armor all the time unless it's one of those like my ghost always reses me with new armor which i would hate and this just gives this look a lot more it it makes it look like my titan is actually living in the universe uh echoes of io Nah, I definitely would still recommend this. This is a shader from Destiny Vanilla, Destiny 2 Vanilla. So I would definitely recommend the shader. And then another one from Vanilla Destiny 2, War Call Terrain, which this doesn't look bad, actually. I would probably just not, like, I don't like the red here. But other than that, I think this looks pretty cool. As for the armor sets, they're all right here. I'm going to go check which ones they are because I don't remember off the top of my head. But let me see real quick that's the wrong one it should be in world third okay so hunters let's start off with you guys and then we'll go tight in the warlocks so to hunters i'm gonna be honest with you i think the chest piece is the only good piece here i don't like the arms i don't like the helmet i don't like the boots and i don't like the cloak titans um i think the helmet is very usable i think the arms are usable i think the boots are usable i think the chest piece is usable and i think the mark is the only thing that's pretty bad warlocks i don't even remember yeah i think the bond's the only good piece of other than that everything else i think the boots are decent as well but the helmet boots or the helmet and chest piece and the arms are kind of like whatever so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from zur as for banshee we have whispering slab with killing wind and sympathetic arsenal timelines vertex with auto long holster and demo annual skate with triple tap and time payload Syncopation 53 with Outlines Headseeker and then Bump in the Night with Tracking Module and Frenzy. These two right here are red border weapons if you guys are interested. Other than that, I really do not recommend any anything here. Uh, maybe Syncopation, Outlaw, and Headseeker seems pretty interesting, but other than that, I really don't care about any of these. As for Zer, he's on Watcher's Grave on Ness is currently selling the Season of the Arrivals armor set. Now, I am not the biggest fan of this armor set. That being said, we'll still go through it because obviously maybe you are so hunters helmet is really cool i think the arms are decent i think the chest piece is cool i think the boots are terrible and i think the cloak is literally going to be the piece everyone wants considering this is the cloak that you would want to use for your like a uh, faceless hunter set for titans i think the i think the mark is pretty cool i think the chest piece is the coolest piece from this whole set i think the boots have potential i think the arms and the helmet are probably the worst pieces 
Warlocks, I think the helmet is pretty bad. I think the arms are pretty bad. I think the chest piece is pretty bad. I think the bond, unfortunately, just doesn't change color, which means it's pretty trash. And I think the boots are probably the best boots that you would want to use for just boots in general. Like, specifically, I use these boots when I go for a cowboy look just because it looks really, really good. So, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for the armor rolls, I'll have them up right now. And just to mention it, because I always mention it in every video, that this armor is beginner pieces. You always would want to go to a master dungeon and do do it so you can get the artifice armor. That being said, you can also do it from comp, from PvP. That being said, I'd rather just do it in the dungeon because the dungeon would be way faster. But if you are more PvP inclined, you can definitely get them from comp. So just to let you guys know. For the weapons, we have GN7 rifle with firmly planted and outlaw. Death Adder with Subsistence and Moving Target. Legal Action with Surplus and Frenzy. Under Your Skin with Tunnel Vision and Explosive Head. Brigand's Law with Pugilist and Swash. Cursair's Wrath with Killing Wind and Kill Clip. And then Tarantula with Genesis Snapshot Sights. So these two are Red Border Weapons just to let you know Under Skin and Brigand's Law. Brigand's Law is a really cool one. Obviously Pugilist with Swash Buckler. That's a really, really good roll. And then under your skin with tunnel vision and explosive payload is pretty good. Although I would probably use it just to have a void bow. That's always nice to have. And then for the exotics, we have Hawk Moon with snapshot sights. And then Skyburner's Oath for the weapons. For the armor, we have Frosties with some pretty decent rolls. I'm not going to lie. I would probably not only masterwork this, but bump the recover to a plus 10. So that way it could be a 14, 18, 18, 20. Which is pretty decent, I'm not going to lie to you guys. And then Ursa Furiosa with some decent rolls as well. I would definitely bump up the resilience to get a 22-24 once I masterwork this and a 20 recovery. Yeah, this would be a nice one as well. And then Starfire Protocol with a natural 32, which is absolutely ridiculous. I think it would stop at 42 if I remember correctly. So masterworking this and putting the recovery to a plus 10 you would lose two points, but that's all you would be in the you would lose. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from Xur. As for Eververse, we have Sinking Feeling, which is a really good shader if you want to go for an arc look, or it's just gen like generally I really like this shader, especially for plate. We have Abyssinian Gold, which I definitely would recommend. Just be aware that I for my recommendation, I would definitely combine this with armor pieces that are off colors for plate armor or pure cloth armor because both of those will give you a black. We have Subjugator Entrance. Unhearing to be told for the Imperial Decree. Definitely a really good ornament. Yeah, there's nothing to add to that. It's just a really good ornament. And then Master Chef. For the stuff at the bottom, we have Internal Combustion for the Lament. Which I definitely think is worth it for some people. I don't think I would get it just because why would I? But it's a really cool ornament. Not the coolest one that the Lament has for sure though. Open Sky Terrier. We have Halkion Corvette. Bel Air Shell. The future facing plate for the Titans. Steepled stair. And then the transmat effects will have harpy entrance. Signal processed. Reef shimmer. And then for the shaders, we have springtide faint. Iridian chariot. Or chariot, cher chariot, whatever. Uh, Golden Age wine, and last but not least, deep sea jaunt. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I definitely think there's some cool pieces here. I will say I do have some things planned. First and foremost, I have the tactical sets already done for all the classes. I just need to edit the warlocks, which is the final one. But the hunter is already uh, uploaded, and the titans. I'm just gonna upload. I'm about to upload it now. After that the parade armor let's talk about the parade armor because that's also something i should probably share with you guys these ends so titans you guys already have it for me or i already have it for you guys it's really really cool i've made sets with all of these pieces and i do mean all of it 
the mark boots help like everything i'm thinking about making five pieces for all the classes because i've made five pieces for all the classes aside from the helmets and the arms because i don't have the helmet and the arms for everyone uh hunters i think i have it yeah the arms all are the only piece that i don't have yet and the helmet i just got today or yesterday so i'm gonna make some sets for these two and then warlocks i've only missing the helmet and the arms funnily enough though i did make a set for the bond so i probably will be making five sets for the for the videos because again i had a lot of fun making these uh not so much for the warlocks the warlocks is pretty rough and i'm still thinking about if i do want to use a whole set for the arms but we'll see but let me know what you guys think again if you guys want to see a certain video let me know in the comments below i'll definitely get started on it but be safe i will see you guys later